Now, the NBC5 Sports Desk, sponsored by your New England Ford dealers. What a game on Sunday Night Football. The entire Sunday Night Football cast picked the Dolphins to win handedly, yet the depleted Chargers put together a great game plan to pull off the upset. It's why we still play the games. No stat, no matter how perfect, we'll be able to predict the future. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Jack Maine. The 89 series is back in Burlington, this time men's hockey edition up at Gutterson Fieldhouse. UVM is a, as at a lossless streak against Dartmouth dating back to 2012. Dartmouth winning just one of these contests since 2008, taking place every single year, spare the COVID year. Cats on a three game skid looking to get back on track against one of the worst teams in the ECAC. People were still finding their seats when Robbie Stucker did this, makes one man miss, makes a second man miss, and then Philip Torkvist with the finish. What a play right there. And not three minutes later, Carter Long from the blue line. Up and over, and it's two nothing cats just like that. Take another look, one step in, and then shoot, you don't even see it. That was an absolute laser right there. Still in the first period, it's Dawkins or Dawson Good, excuse me. He makes good. What a pass. The cats put up three in the first period. UVM cruising in this one. 5 1, your final. Well, with all the high-level basketball in Vermont, the Middlebury Panthers often get lost in the conversation, though they deserve the spotlight just as much as the next team. Ranked 12th in Division III, the Panthers are a program worth keeping tabs on. Jeff Brown has his boys at 7-1 to start the season. They welcomed in Stevens Institute before the break for these kids to finish up their finals. First half, all Panthers. Stamps, Sam Stevens from deep. Panthers on a 10-0 run to open up the game. Watch number three on this play right here. He gets the first screen, gets the second screen, one dribble, pull up, bang, from the elbow. Noah Osher right there led all scorers with 17 on the day. Panthers keep the heat on. Charlie Moore, not the Nesson guy, but wet like the Nesson guy because he goes fishing, obviously. Uh, that's a nice shot from the elbow right there. Panthers, 45 first half points in their 76-53 win over Stevens. All right, Jets take their yearly trip up to Buffalo. Josh Allen's been banged up. Can he pull one out for the bill? Second quarter, no score. Dalton Knox, he wants to change that somersault into the end zone. And the Bills strike first in the second edition of this AFC East rivalry. What a play right there by the big tight end. Jets want to respond, so they give the ball to Knight, and he makes the cut he needs to find the end zone. Seven points for the Jets, and things are tied up. Bill's looking to respond. Josh Allen, doesn't matter if he's playing hurt. He'll take all the hits he needs to get to the end zone. That's six more points for the Bills, and they hang on to win by eight and get revenge on the Jets. Well, we can all agree a good celebration makes a good highlight better. And after a couple of the high school basketball games tipping off and seeing some of the creative celebrations, I decided to let the people have the power. What is the best celebration in sports? Here are some of the best answers that we had. Lo Yarnell gets in on the fun, says she likes the bow and arrow. That's a good one right there. Tino's going to check into the conversation. He says it's the gritty and that Mac Jones has the best gritty of all time. Well, speaking of the gritty, we had a local submission for the gritty right here in South Burlington. This is Jordan LaRose from South Burlington with the one-timer and then hits the gritty on the ice. Oh, that is... That is one heck of a celebration in hockey. I mean, it's 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 difficult to make that look good, like in on, football on the turf. But right. then to do it on the ice, and yeah. you got all of this That's a good balance right there. That you is. Should, are you gonna show us how to do it? Or? Oh please, please. No. It's He's like, not no, late no, enough. They don't need to see that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're the king of dancing on NBC Five. You've done uh, you, little. Have you talked to Alice King before. recently? No, oh, I, she. Oh, Alice King boogies down, man. All but right. not on TV. You do it on TV. No. Right, we gotta get you guys. You <laughs> gotta got get it. you guys together. Anyway, now. enough that's about it. dancing. A little more about the snow that's still falling right now. Yeah, still some snow going on out there, but it won't be uh, too much additional accumulation. Just another coating out there as it.